If you are a fan of Formula One, you might have heard commentators and pundits speaking frequently about track limits throughout a race weekend. In this video, we will look at what are track limits and understand why it is a controversial topic. Let's get started. There is only one mention of track limits in the sporting regulation. It comes under Article 33.3. Let's take a look. There are three points noted here. First, drivers must make every reasonable effort to use the track at all times and may not leave the track without a justifiable reason. This point gives the context for track limits. The second point defines track limits. Drivers will be judged to have left the track if no part of the car remains in contact with it, and for the avoidance of doubt, any white lines defining the track edges are considered to be part of the track, but the curbs are not. What this means is that the entire F1 car must be over the white line on the inside of the curb, for track limits to be breached. Now let's look at the third point. This is a subjective one. Should a car leave the track, the driver may rejoin. However, this may only be done when it's safe to do so and without gaining any lasting advantage. At the absolute discretion of the race director, a driver may be given the opportunity to give back the whole or any advantage he gained by leaving the track. The sporting regulations does not have any details about how track limits is enforced. For example, through race commentary, we often hear that three violations of track limits leads to a black and white flag. This is not directly stated in the sporting regulation. Also, there is no detail given as to how track limits is calculated. Through commentary, we heard that sensors were being used to detect when all four wheels had crossed the inside white line. The details regarding these sensors and how the data from these sensors is used to calculate track limits is not disclosed in the sporting regulation. For the 2023 Bahrain Grand Prix, the FIA published notes regarding track limits. In section 15.1, the note states, the white line defines the track edges. During qualifying and the race, each time a driver fails to negotiate with the track limits, this will result in the lap time being invalidated by the stewards. This is an important note because it gives clarity to the drivers as to the consequences for violating track limits. Many times we saw drivers losing their qualifying time or a fastest lap attempt based on this note. So why are track limits controversial? Track limits are controversial because of how they are enforced. In the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, early in the race we saw Lewis Hamilton cut the chicane and gain an advantage against Max Verstappen. Hamilton did not return the position back to Verstappen after this corner. Since there aren't clear definitions as to what is gaining an advantage in the sporting regulations, the race director's decision stands whether he's right or wrong. Prior to the 2023 season, track limits was enforced inconsistently. For example, track limits were only being enforced in certain corners in a circuit, and circuit by circuit, track limit rules varied. In 2023, the FIA has taken a step forward by enforcing track limits throughout the circuit, rather than just on specific corners. Hope this video helped you learn about track limits. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.